Welcome everyone to an incredible journey. We're near Jarvis Island on our final expedition of the 2023 EV Nautilus field season. Our mission? To map the seafloor inside a vast network of protected areas called the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, also known as PRIM. PRIM, established in 2009 and expanded in 2014, encompasses islands, atolls, seamounts, and ridges, as well as huge interconnecting deep sea areas broken up across five different units stretching throughout the Central Pacific. We're thrilled to be part of this important mission to map and understand this special part of the ocean. To date, Nautilus has mapped over 180,000 square kilometers in the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. And this expedition will significantly contribute to the knowledge of the Jarvis area, unlocking the mysteries of this remote region. As part of our expedition, we're spending 16 days mapping in the U.S. exclusive economic zone around Jarvis Island. Here, we divided our focus area into three survey regions, an arching ridge, a chain of seamounts, and a third region where satellite altimetry data indicates we may find more seamounts that are missing from the current map. Now, why is this important? Recent U.S. national actions have proposed designating this area as a national marine sanctuary to augment the protections of PRIM. If established, this new sanctuary would help care for the submerged natural and cultural resources surrounding Jarvis Island and other Pacific remote islands. Our baseline bathymetry data helps support good decision making. Collecting seafloor bathymetry and backscatter supports the development of benthic habitat classification maps and habitat suitability models, and these together help us better understand the distribution of different seafloor environments. We're eagerly anticipating the results of the seafloor mapping expedition, which build on other ships' data and decades of nearshore research to provide a more complete picture of the region protected by PRIM. Sailing out here is a great reminder of the massive scale of the ocean. Our exploration shows the importance of collaboration in learning about and preserving these vast remote areas. This mapping expedition marks OET's first dedicated effort to explore the Jarvis Island unit, made possible with support from NOAA Ocean Exploration via the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute. We're aiming to map roughly 10,000 square kilometers, or nearly the size of Puerto Rico, inside the Jarvis unit, the southernmost of the five units of PRIM. Jarvis is part of the ancient volcanic trail of islands and seamounts, the Line Islands Ridge, which stretches over 4,000 kilometers through the nations of Kiribati and the U.S. and international waters. This remote region remains one of the most poorly mapped units, and data gaps impact the ability to understand connections from the deepest seafloor to the rich coastal coral reefs. Across the month in total, we will have mapped over 35,000 square kilometers. That's larger than the Netherlands. Beyond mapping, we're gearing up for future ROV exploration of these underwater seamounts, including a summer 2024 expedition on Nautilus. Detailed maps like these play a crucial role in understanding and guiding our team's decisions. From positioning the ship to charting the best estimated ROV course up the side of a seamount to explore deep sea biodiversity. Join us in real-time exploration via nautiluslive.org. Together, we can continue to learn more about this extraordinary part of our planet for current and future generations of explorers.